Man, did y'all hear about this Union Station shooting that happened at the Kansas City Chiefs oh my gosh, parade? That, that was sad. So now people are getting on Travis Kelsey because Travis Kelsey supposedly was partying after the Union Station shooting. So basically there was a Super Bowl parade for the Kansas City Chiefs who won the Super Bowl. 22 people were shot. One died. She was a radio DJ. Her name was Lisa Galvan. So... Mm -hmm. um. Travis Kelsey, of course, donated 100000 to two children who were injured at the shooting at the Union Station. So my question to you guys is, was he wrong to go to the party or should he have kept fighting for his right to party? Like, was there Travis was a shooting, I guess, after the shooting happens. I don't know the time frame, if it was the day after, a couple of, you know, a couple of days after. But supposedly he was photographed partying with some people. After this occurred, what, what, and people are like, "Why are you doing this, Travis?" Like, we're mourning the death of somebody, and people were injured. What do you guys think about it? What are your thoughts? I think that's part of life now. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's, part, it's it's part of life now. So I think at the end of the day, Travis Kelsey, Travis Kelsey is not responsible for the tragedy that happened, and to have him put his life on hold mm. for a tra tragic event is really not fair to him or anyone else in that situation. In fact, what we should be talking about is how Travis Kelsey gave, I think, $100,000. Absolutely. I was just going to mention that. As, um, you know, as a situation. So whoever came up with this or had an issue, I wonder how much they donated or how much they gave Good to this question. tragic event. Instead of getting on a celebrity for... Winning having a, a Super good time. Bowl, having a good time, it, it, the, the two are separate. They have nothing to do with each other. I think it's unfair to put celebrities in this mode that they're just, because they make a lot of money, they have to do other things. Right, and my thing is, football players, I've never been a football player myself, but I know they work hard all year. I mean, that's some rigorous training. Yes. So to get to the pinnacle of like your, you know, your sports, you know, championship game, and you win that, and they, they're back-to-back -back champions too. Okay. That must feel good. You want to kick back, probably relax, enjoy the friends and, you know, your family that you haven't been around, I'm sure, because you've had to train and do all mm -hmm. these things you've had to do. So I'm sure you want to do that. And then, like you said, this man didn't, like, look at the event like it never happened. He donated his own money. Donated money. His it. own yeah. money. Yeah. So that, it, that he didn't have to. That he didn't have to do it. Yeah. Right. He donated money that he didn't have to. Another thing I would also look at is... You know the the people that are they're talking about these things like did this happen on Valentine's Day or before Valentine's Day? Um, I want to say it was it was it was it, the so day it, of. It, yeah. So great example, it happened the day of Valentine's Day early during the day. How many people still celebrated Valentine's Day when this tragic event mm. happened? I think most of America did, right? Mm, yeah. So so at the end of the day, I look at it as such, right? Like people will still live their lives. If something happened to me, unfortunately, point. life is still going to happen, right? Life goes on. The, the immediate family will mourn, but life, it goes on, bro. That's mm. it. Even though how tragic it was, and for her to be in the same situation that we're in radio, I, I think it's horrible. Yeah, it, it's really horrible. And this, the crazy thing about it was the, all the kids were pretty much like off that day for school. Right, right, so right, right. Kansas City pretty much like allowed that, you know everyone in the city to go to this parade it was absolutely. it was a big thing absolutely so yeah. it's it's very 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 sad so let me ask you a question if something like that happened i mean do you personally feel personally that he made a mistake by going out there not at all i think that you, like you you mentioned it very well you said it very well when you have your life you have your own life to live you cannot yeah. stop your life for things that are just going to happen things are going to things happen are, as um, exactly was it an unfortunate situation? Absolutely. Very unfortunate situation. I feel for all those families, 20 people were injured, one person died. I feel for all of them. But at the same time, your life has to still go on. Now, if you want to pay tribute or do something for the event that happened, just like Kel Travis Kelsey did, yes, that's great. That's awesome. Salute to you. Yeah. Did he have to? No. Just like you said, he did not have to, he but have he, to did. That, yeah. he did. Now, what did he do after that? He went and lived his life after that. Exactly. I don't see anything wrong with that at yeah, all. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I want to be sensitive to the situation. Like I Absolutely. said, again, we are in radio. We enjoy what we do. And it seems like she was doing great, very popular, a personality in the community. And that's a huge loss to the community. Oh, no, of course. And at the end of the day, another story we should talk about is gun violence. Like, now mm. you can't go anywhere without, you know, being shot up possibly. It's happened at church, movie mm. theaters, 
um, sporting events, concerts. It's happened. Schools everywhere, bro. So was this like one person or multiple people? Do you guys know? Multiple. It was multiple people. One death. I think um, oh, I think nine people shot. Children were shot. Children were injured. See, and it's, it brings me to the whole thing, like you said, gun violence, because it was outside. Mm -hmm. You can't really... You can't really know who has what on them. It's outside. I know you can't. You, you can't do anything, bro. It wasn't but, like yeah, yeah that's yeah, rough. It's crazy in America, bro. Man, it's crazy out that, here. That's that's sad, and I don't know. That's crazy. I don't know if more states are gonna go with supporting. Hey, let's have gun. Let's be a gun state, or they're gonna say because of acts like this, we're gonna go away from you having guns in your state. I, I don't know. That's a good question. I truly believe that I don't think it's going to ever change. At least in our lifetime, I don't think they're going to ever change uh, the gun laws. And this, obviously, we're not debating on the gun laws. Right. I, I just feel that, you know, we should have the right to protect ourselves, but we should also have measures to make sure that people can't have access to, to weapons and things like that as well. What's what's wrong with that? You know, what's wrong with yeah, that? Yeah, it's, you know, it's so I can't, crazy. I can't drive a, a car without a license. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just it makes me even think about uh, what we discussed uh, previously. Uh, we had a gentleman up here that was telling us about the Vegas shooting. Yes, that's right. Um, we had an interview. Yeah, yeah, Ralph, Ralph, yeah, yeah, Ralph, Ralph Reyes. Reyes. That's just stuff like that. Like, what do you do? Because it's you're outside. You're in a public setting. You're just enjoying yourself. So that happened with me at at the Cheesecake. There you factory. go. It happened with you at it Cheesecake. Happened factory. So on my yes. birthday at Cheesecake Factory, I remember this. Right, we were in To, and when we were there. You heard guns just going off. Boof, boof, boof. That's crazy. The whole family, we jump underneath the table. All right. And what I remember from that moment was uh, my son looking at me like, what's happening, right? What's that? I, I remember that moment. Mm. I remember chaos and, and everybody was running, dishes just being thrown everywhere. And we were under the table. And then because of that, he was in a high chair, uh, he, he was like stuck. His foot was like stuck into the high chair. And I just remember like looking at his face, like grabbing him and bringing him in close. And the whole family, Chris, everybody, we just like hold it up together. I was under the table. For me, I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm just staying there as everybody's moving left, right. Boom, 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 boom. After things simmered down, the people in the restaurant were like, okay, okay, everybody go to the back. Everybody go to the back. And we all are exiting through the kitchen, right? We're exiting through the kitchen and there's tons of people in the whole mall. Everybody's outside. What's going on? It was crazy. Wow. Later on, we found out this guy came and he went and shot his, uh, he shot and killed his ex-girlfriend because of some custody battle, like a department store down. Oh my crazy, goodness. Crazy, crazy, right? Wow. Absolutely crazy. So it happened. So even though I was in the vicinity of the violence, I still remember like the stampede, the people running, the terror, the whatever. I remember that. And I remember I, I, we hung out later on that night, that same day. Yes, yes. That's crazy. We hung out later on the same day. Now, for me, life still goes on. Whenever my birthday comes up, I, in fact, I ate over at the, the Cheesecake Factory not even that long ago. And I, you know, it never crossed my mind. And you know what's so crazy about Junior too? Junior is a G because not only did we hang on later that hang out later that day, we went to a restaurant later that night. <laughs> yes, and talked about what happened. And talked about what happened. Yes. So if you're not already traumatized about being in restaurants, <laughs> man, you it was like hours later. It was hours later. I oh, was able man. to, uh, for some for some odd reason, uh, I was able to like mentally block it out. Like it happened, but I have to live my life. Right. I can't live in fear. Right. At the end of the day. And, and, and that's just what it is. And we're, we live in a world where all kind of things happen, you know? You know, our, our condolences to all those people and, you know, the city of Kansas City, you know, Luminary Sound salutes every single one of you all and, and prays for all those families. Yeah. And, man, it's it's a tough time out there, but, you know, we uplift all of you yeah, guys. Yeah, and for anybody who's went through a tra traumatic event, like, leave your comments here. Like, how did you get through it? Help other people out as yeah, well, you for know? sure. We live in a, in a crazy society now. So. For sure. But uh, we still at least have beautiful music. Bobby Caldwell, what you want to